Hi guys, so this is going to be going to do a couple of videos on the Nexus 6P. Uh, so this is something I purchased very recently. I'll go into the details later on in the video. Um, but I'm going to give you a couple of different videos showing the unboxing, uh, the camera footage, so what the camera's like, and the general feel. Um, and we're also going to be upgrading to uh, Android N, uh, which is in preview at the moment, so it's not currently out. So we're going to have a look around. So I have unboxed it already, uh, just to an extent. I've not actually took all the things out, but I have taken the wrapper off. Um, so this is the wrapper you get. So for you guys who don't know, the Nexus range of phones is Google's own phone. So they, they partner up with one of the uh, manufacturers. So at the moment it's LG and Huawei, or however you pronounce it. Um, and they create a stock Android phone. And what I mean by stock Android is, it's the Google Play Edition, it's a pure Android. Uh, no skins like a typical manufacturer would put on, so like touch with some Samsung or LG skins or anything like that. It's beautiful, pure Android. Um, I thought I'd get this just to trial it to see if I could get it on with Android. And I'll let you know how I've got on because I have had this for about a week now. So I've took the wrapper off. Uh, nothing special, kind of just gives you an overview of what it looks like. Uh, that is Marshmallow because this has come with the latest operating system on it. Um, and some details there about the IMEI number, but as you can see, uh, colour is silver, made in China, and then it just lets you know where the head office is there. So overall, pretty good, I'm really happy with it, and I'll show you what it's like. So, the actual box itself, obviously I've got this P embedded there, and that's because this is the Nexus 6P. Uh, there is also another version by LG. So if we just take this, uh, this box out, so it's just like a cover, I'll take that off and have a look in. So straight away, uh, within this box, it has got the Nexus branding just there. Uh, have a look in here, as you can see, it's got the Nexus logo again there, and then we've got the P. I'm going to take that out because there's nothing special. We've got a little tab there to help you pull it out. Um, and this is basically a very quick guide. These are the only set of instructions you actually get, which is quite nice because it is just picture form. Uh, phones are very straightforward. You put your SIM card in, and away you go. Um, so yeah. Tells you all your button configurations, but I'll show you that in a second. So put that aside. So straight away when you open the device, you get obviously straight in the box. That's where everything is. So obviously you've got the Nexus phone here. I've got my free pin connector there for the United Kingdom. I've got a long USB uh, Type C connector and underneath here. So if I just pull this little flap up here, as you can see, you've got the Nexus branding again. So we're going to put that aside for a second. Um, you've got 90 days uh, of Google. Play music, for, there you go, for free. Take that out, put that aside. Again, um, all that's in here is obviously your little SIM ejector tool, and also there'll be warranty information and so on in there, which again, I'm not gonna read into, because it's pretty much the same everywhere. You get one year and one year only. So that's that, put that aside. So here we've got a USB-C uh, to USB-A, so that's good for people. So this would be good if you wanted to just take it out and about. Uh, so for example, in my wallet, uh, there is a very, very, very small US uh, lightning cable. So just in case of emergencies, I've always got a lightning cable with me. This is nice and short. So this would be great if you go around your friend's house because it's very unlikely they're going to have a charger with USB Type-C because uh, not a lot of phones have got it at the moment. So it's good to have that because they've always got like an iPhone charger or another Android phone charger which has a USB on the other end. So then you can charge it whenever you go. So that's pretty useful to have. It's nice to include that. Also good if you want to plug it into your computer and do data transfers as well. So here uh, we have got the long USB Type-C, so I have had to wrap this back up because so I am going to be sending it back in a couple of days. Um, that's about two metres long and it's USB Type-C uh, to USB Type-C again. And here uh, we have the charger itself. So again, this will look slightly different wherever you are in the world. Uh, but if we have a quick look at the spec there, as you can see it's 5 volts free amp so it is slightly faster charging than normal uh, because mine is the uk plug i have to then push this prong up to then allow it to go into the plug socket but that it also goes down um, again just usb type c on the end no full size usb type a that's pretty much it so that's in the box that's the box itself and that is it so again just a recycle symbol on the back there so the phone itself, so I'm just going to show you the box and contents before I start opening the box. Uh, this is what you get. So I ordered mine direct from Google. It may vary place to place, but this is what I've got. 
So, starting from the left, we've got the main device itself, the Nexus 6P there. Uh, we've got a 90 day trial of Google Play Music, which is pretty cool. Um, got the charger itself there, so in its compact form, that's what it looks like. But obviously then, we can get it to retract up, so it goes into the plugs here in the UK. Uh, we've got some um, instructions, or I mean, basically warranty information. Also, with a SIM ejector tool, which I've already got. A long USB type C to USB type C, um, and also a standard USB type C to USB A for everything else, so to plug into a computer or another USB charger. So, the next video, guys, we're going to power on the Nexus itself. We're going to walk through the UBI, or as I like to call it, that's what it is the out of box experience, see so what the operating system's like, and setting it all up with my Google account. And then we're going to go do a couple of different videos, including the camera, so the camera footage. Uh, video footage um, and also the upgrade to Android N uh, which this can go on because it is a Nexus device and we'll go from there Okay guys, so before I fire the unit up I want to kind of give you a bit of a tour of this unit because it is a very nice looking unit So uh, on the front obviously we've got two front-facing speakers, which is nice uh, Up here uh, we have your 8 megapixel front-facing camera there is a little LED notification like that, which you can't see because it is behind the glass, uh, but that you can turn on. Um, so that's quite nice to have a two face, you know, front facing stereo speakers. Uh, the last ones I remember of those uh, was on the HTC one I had quite a while ago. Um, on the bottom there, uh, we have got a USB type C connector there. So that's the charging interface this has. It's the only input you have. Um, obviously here you've got your antenna bands, so just like on an iPhone, uh, because it's got a metal back, they have to include these antenna bands so your signal can get through, because it doesn't work fantastically through metal there. So we'll go around that. So on the sides themselves, um, we've basically just got two buttons on here. Uh, so the one on the left here is your volume rocker. So obviously down and up it controls your volume. And obviously on the right there, which is kind of a rich design, I'm sure if you can see it, uh, pattern there is your power button there and again fair up is some more antenna bands to make sure your signals get free on the top of the device uh, again two more antenna bands to the left and right there and also we've got your 3.5 mil uh, audio jack there for all your headphones uh, going around the right and, uh, the left hand side of the device we've just got one uh, which is here which is your sim card so this accepts a nano sim uh, which is great for me because that is the same as my iPhone 6s. So let's flip the device over and have a look at what we get on the back there. So obviously got some markings there. Got the brand, obviously the manufacturer who makes this. Got the Nexus brand in there. Uh, you do also get a barcode with various things on it. But it's got your IMEI number and your serial number. Here uh, is your fingerprint reader. So when you register your fingerprint, uh, all you have to do is touch it, it recognises it and it will unlock. Here we've got some microphone there to cancel out you know, other audio in the background. Uh, here we have got a grill. This does raise from the rest of the body, which I'll try and show you. Here we've got your camera. This is a 12 megapixel shooter. It can also record 4K. Uh, we've also got your flash there. Um, and in between there uh, is a laser, just like on the uh, the LG G4, the G3. It does fire out, which I'll show you when you've got on the camera to auto focus there. Uh, so from the rest of the body itself, uh, that does raise ever so slightly. It's not something you would notice, to be honest, but it is there. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to quickly turn on the device and we're going to walk through the OOP. So I've just turned it on. So you hold the power button in. There we go, so there's the Google logo. Uh, so like I said, this runs stock Android, so you won't be seeing any other brand, um, which is cool. And we're going to go for this. So I've reset it back to defaults, and we're going to go walk for this every step of the way. Uh, so you get these lovely animations to show that it's booting. And then we'll have to set it up. So you will obviously need a Google account to get the most out of Google, um, but that's fine because I have already got one. There you go, Android. And like I said, we'll update it to Android N later on. So this is the Ubi, as you can see I've got a little bit of battery, well, say half, so it'd be, oh, three quarters of that last, not a problem, because one of the things this has got is a awesome battery. So let's get going, so I'm going to go United States because it's fine, I do speak obviously English, I am in the UK, but the language is exactly the same, apart from a few words, so we go next. 
uh, insert SIM card. Going to go past this bit uh, just because my SIM card is in my other phone and I'm not going to be using this as a personal phone. So we can skip this bit, but we'll connect to Wi Fi. So we're going to skip that. So you can see all the different Wi Fi's in my area. Uh, mine's that one there. So we're just going to pause here while I put that password in. So I just press connect and it's checking the connection and it does state this may take a while. Um, and this hopefully will then check if we've got any. There we go. So software updates, checking for updates. Should be on the latest one, which it is by the look of it. Cool. So this device was reset to continue signing with the Google account that was previously synced, which is my own one. Again, we'll just get past this one. So uh, just because I have two step verification on my account, it has sent a number to me onto my mobile phone, which I've just put in. So we're going to press next. It's just going to verify that is the correct code, which it should be. There we go. Checking info. Uh, so it's saying sign in with Danny B. Whittle at Gmail. That is my email address. I don't use it primarily, um, but I will sign in with that. There we go. So we're just going to get a couple of options now we can kind of opt into. Uh, so automatically back up your device. That's fine. Uh, use Google Location Service to help, you know, help apps. Again, I leave that on because I'm quite happy with that. Improve location accuracy. So this will use Wi-Fi to try and pinpoint where you are. We're also using the cellular network. Um, help improve Android experience. I'll take that off. Um, and there you go. We will then go from there. So we're going to press next. Uh, just a sec. And we should be nearly kind of getting to the end of the... Uh, set up there because it has got quite a fast process. I won't go too much into specs uh, because there's plenty of other videos which go over the specs. I will include them in the description, uh, but let's just say it's a very fast phone. <laughs> um, but as I say, this was a test for myself coming from a, as you can see, an Apple background. I have an Apple phone. Uh, I've got obviously a MacBook Pro, Mac, iMac just there. So it was a good test for me whether I could do the switch. And I've used this for about a week um, and I will still be using iOS. And it's not because Android isn't a good operating system, far from it. Just for me, the ecosystem's already there for me. Uh, big things such as iMessage is there. I know other people can use different things like WhatsApp. But for me, it's already there in place. So it's asking me if I want to add another account. So this would be useful if I was using this as my primary device because I would then add in my iCloud details for Apple email. But because I'm not, I'm just going to leave my Gmail account on there and that is absolutely fine. So protect my phone, we're going to set up the fingerprint now and we're going to go ahead with that. So Nexus Imprint uses your fingerprint to wake and unlock your phone, uh, authorised purchases or sign into apps. Obviously be careful whose fingerprint you add and your fingerprints added will be able to do these things. Pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to go next. So you have to add a backup, so we'll just do a pattern. Um, I don't want it to do it when I start the device. A fingerprint is more than sufficient. Um, I'm going to create a very basic code just for the purpose of this video. Obviously, it gets recovered anyway. Um, I'll hide sensitive notifications so not all my text show on the screen. So, we're going to pick up the uh, phone note and do this. So it's going to be on the back of the device itself. So I'm just going to pick this phone up. Um, on the back, obviously, you might be able to hear it vibrate. There you go. So, as you, every time I press the finger, uh, it's just then taken an imprint of my fingerprint. You have to do it about six times. And now that is done. So fingerprint added. I don't want to add any more. That's fine. So it's just saying just a sec now. Put that back there. Okie dokie. So you get your apps and data. Uh, so I can restore a backup. Um, I'm not going to don't think. So I'm going to set up as a new device for time. Because my apps, I haven't got a lot of apps anyway. So set up as a new device. So we're going to go next. Get Google Now, so I actually like Google Now. It's one of the things I think really shines on Android. So I'm gonna say, yes, I'm in. And there we go, it's just restoring it. It'll take a couple of seconds, and there we go. We are into the interface itself. So we're just gonna got it. One thing I will always, I always do, is turn up the brightness. So I'm not a fan of that. So um, it's just restoring a couple of apps. It's just one of eight. Uh, there will be a ton of updates, because since I last used an Android device, they're probably all out of date. So as you can see guys, it's got a beautiful interface, no horrible skin, it's just pure Android. So this is the Android I like. So you've got your Google Now Launcher right at the top there. Uh, we can pull down and get our notifications. It's just restoring apps at the moment. Uh, it tells you the date and time, so we can bring it down again. You can take this to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth's off. Uh, do not disturb. 
and no SIM card present, we know that, and things like auto rotate is on. Uh, so what we're going to do next, guys, in the next video is going to get this updated to Android N, and I'll show you the process of how to do that. If you've got one of these, it's really simple. It doesn't involve flashing the device. It's now done over the o OTA, which stands for over the air update. So it's really simple and really easy to do. We're going to show you that just now before I go on to another video.